Hello students, today I am going to explain the topic resolving power of microscope. This topic is from the chapter wave optics. So basically uh, after watching this video you must go through the textbook page number 372, 372 to 374. Now, I will be using two previous results to obtain the expression for resolving power of microscope. One result is in diffraction, uh, the central maxima, suppose this is a central maxima, so light obtained after passing through a lens is the central maxima. The radius is 0 0.61 lambda f by a, where lambda is the wavelength of light, f is the focal length of the convex lens and twice a, a is from the twice a the aperture of the lens, convex lens. This is given in your figure 10.19. Now, this is angle of resolution. This angle of resolution delta theta is equal to 0 0.61 lambda by A. So, this is equation 10.24, this is equation 10.25 from, from the textbook. Now, I will be using these two results to obtain the resolving power of microscope. Now basically in microscope you have an objective and the object is placed slightly beyond the focal length of the objective. So suppose the object is placed at this particular point. So this is slightly greater than f. So let it be f. Okay. And suppose and this is the this is the image plane and this is the central maxima. This is the image. So image is formed in this plane and this is the central maxima. This is the convex lens. Okay. So from the lens to the image, the distance is V. Let D be the aperture of the convex lens. Let this angle be theta. Now, as we have seen, the radius is radius of the central bright maxima is 0 0.61 lambda f by a. So that means the size of the image, this is the image i image size, I can write it to be 0 0.61 lambda f by this is in this case aperture size is d and this is now see this is the radius this is the diameter so this is multiplied by 2 so now i have i is equal to 1.22 lambda f by d so this is the image size or the diameter of this central maxima okay now let's say this angle this angle is beta, this half angle. Total angle is twice beta, so this beta. Now, if we can see this triangle, from this triangle I can write tan beta is equal to, tan beta is equal to, this is complete is d, so this is d by 2, d by 2 divided by f. So this implies, from this I get d by f d by f is equal to 2 tan beta okay Achha. now if we see this part this angle now, if I assume this to be an arc so angle equal to arc length divided by radius so theta theta is equal to i by V. So from, from this I get I size of the image is equal to V into theta. Now the, this theta is the angle of resolution. Angle of this theta is the angle of resolution 0 0.61 lambda by A. So I can write it as V into 0 0.61 lambda by A. A. Okay. 
But now, see, uh, in the previous case, when twice A was the aperture, the radius of the central bright spot was 0.61 lambda f by A. Now, in this case, uh, the, the aperture size is D. So, if I multiply this quantity by numerator and denominator by 2, so 2 times A means now 2 times A will be D. 2 times A, if I multiply this quantity, numerator and denominator by 2, what do I get? 1.22 lambda by twice A. Okay, what is twice A? Twice A is the aperture. So I write it as I is equal to V 1.22 lambda by D. Okay, now let uh, d minimum be the size of object that is the minimum distance of resolution minimum distance of resolution so if m is the magnification I can write m to be size of the image, size of object, i by d minimum. So this implies d minimum is equal to i by m. But what is i? i is this thing. So I have i is v into this thing. So I can write it as, if I substitute this value over here, it is 1 by m times v. 1.22 lambda by t okay now again what is m magnification is v by u that is equal to v see in this case the object magnification is v by u now in this case uh, this uh, object is placed slightly beyond f so i can approximate u b to be equal to f so I have m equal to v by f. So if I substitute the value of m in, the, in this equation, what do I get? d minimum is equal to m is v by f. So 1 by m will be f by v. So f by v, v 1.22 lambda by d. So, this V and this V cancels out. So, now what do we get? We get D minimum is equal to 1.22 lambda F by D. Lambda F by D. Achha. Now, what is D by, D, what is D by F? D by F is 2 tan beta d by f is 2 tan beta so now in this equation i have d by f so this can be written as 1.22 lambda divided by i can write it as d by f so this is equal to 1.22 lambda divided by 2 tan beta because d by f is equal to 2 tan beta now for small angle for small angle so this is minimum distance of resolution minimum distance of resolution now for small angle i can write instead of tan beta tan i can write sine so for for small angle beta we have d minimum is equal to 1. 2 2 lambda divided by 2 sine beta okay so achha. now for good resolution the value of this d minimum should be small as small as possible so if i see this is lambda in this equation d minimum is equal to 1.22 lambda by 2 sine beta now i want this i want to decrease the value of this d minimum Lambda is the wavelength of light in free space. Now, 
this space, the space between the lens and the object, if this space is occupied by some liquid of refractive index mu, then in that case, this lambda will be replaced by lambda by mu. So in that case, d minimum will be lambda will be replaced by. So if this liquid, if we have a liquid filled in front of the convex lens, we have lambda is equal to lambda by mu. Lambda can be replaced by lambda by mu. So d minimum in this case it will be 1.22 lambda by 2 mu sin beta okay now this quantity mu sin beta it is called numerical aperture numerical aperture so so now we have the expression for minimum distance of resolution now the resolving power resolving power it is it is reciprocal of minimum distance of resolution smaller the value of minimum distance of resolution greater is the resolving power so by increasing the value of mu that is by choosing suitable liquid you can decrease the value of d minimum and thereby you can increase the value of value of resolving power of the microscope okay so this is the basic concept of resolving power of microscope i hope you have understood the mathematical steps involved and also the concept behind it and if you have any doubt of in any of the steps you can comment in the comment box thank you